great. Getting ready to go out of town. It's a little windy. Had another storm. See, everything's all wet. She's beating up the lettuce. We're just going to leave those there till we get back. I couldn't find any more lettuce. So we're just going to leave that. I'm going to sprout some so they'll be ready. So when I come back, I'll replant that. But, oh well, you're still getting a little bit of lettuce. Look at our herbs. Doing good though. Look, tarragon. Starting to flower. Never seen flowers on that. My wife made that like a dragonfly wing. Alright, let's check this out. Well, first, y'all see how this was doing pretty good. Doing better. Doing the best up there. Let's take a look at that real quick. And then I'll show you the problem. Let's climb up on the ladder. See that? That's what you're looking for. See the white stalk? This is awesome to put in soup because you can chop up these leaves, kind of like spinach. They don't have much flavor, but they're nutritious. So you cut those up, those wilt, it's soft, and then those white, crunchy parts in there, the stem. That's awesome. So I'm going to let this go a little bit longer because those get even fatter. So you have different textures. You have the crunchy, you have the softer leaves. So these are doing good. These are ready. I mean, if you go have a bowl of soup, you can cut a couple of these off and toss them in right now. So we'll start, you know, munching off some of those. And then we'll put this one up there. Lost a couple. I'll tell you why. First I had a, one of our tree rats ran through here and pulled every one of these out. So you see, I've got a little bit of sponge to hold them in. All of these were laying out. I lost a couple because they were laying out and they couldn't get in the their roots. He pulled the roots out and they sat out here and dried up. Some of them he just pulled and the root was still hanging in there. So they survived so I could just pop them back in. And, and I put this little pool noodle in here for a reason. Remember we used a hemp mat? Let me show you what happened. Down here. So I was wrong about this. And it's not the hemp mat's fault. It's not terra fiber. That's a good product. It's good for sprouting your microgreens on, just what it's meant for. And I was just trying to use this. But look how black that is. That's that mat broke down. These are only in here like two weeks. And I'm going to grow this pak choy for like four to six weeks. So in two weeks, it's already broken down into that gooey mess. So as a result, there's nothing holding on to this when the wind blows or... Like I said, my little squirrel comes along, he just pulls it out, but the wind can blow it out. So what I've done with these, see right there, I've just been tucking them back in. Like so, and cutting a little piece of the pull noodle. Where'd it go? Oh, it fell on the ground. Ah, I just wiped, I just got hemp mat all over that one. And I just went back here and pushed it back down in there. This pak choy is pretty resilient. As long as his root stayed in there, it'll perk back up. There's another one I have to do right there. Just put that in there for now because I gotta leave. Now I'm not gonna clean that out. Let's pop it off and see if we can see. Because the hemp mat basically is biodegradable. So I don't know if it's going to mess these up or not, but we'll just let them go and see. You know, it's nothing dangerous. You can grow plants on it. But, yeah, see how it just kind of disintegrated? So, we're just going to let that go. And I lost a couple. Like I said, our little tree rat. Trying to keep that covered up. Pop that in the hole. I'll put a better one in there later. So, yeah, we're going to let these go. Might harvest that before we leave and take that with us. And then move all of these up once. It just depends on how much time I got tomorrow. And then get that one on the bottom so he's not getting that much light. Take him and I'll probably move him up here. So, alright. Y'all get out. Go out to 
the storm on the way. I'll stay safe. Alright, don't forget, lift and inspire. Keep on growing. I love you all. Peace.